Welcome. This is Nick Lefebvre. I'm a science teacher at Clover High School, and this is my take on Twitter in the Classroom. I think it's time we ban pens and pencils. I'm tired of students tapping them, playing tic-tac-toe, writing notes to gossip, and drawing embarrassing pictures of their teachers. So you're saying that pens and pencils are distracting and being used to play games, bully students, and embarrass teachers? Not only that, but some students are bringing in fancy pens, while other students are using not up old pencils. Not all students have access to good pencils. That is unfortunate. We can't have pens and pencils in the classroom if they can cause jealousy. Exactly. They also are making these students lazy. Have you ever tried running with a sharp pencil, or play basketball while writing a note? They need a sedentary behavior too. And they are a safety issue. Just last week I had a student stab himself in the hand with a sharp pencil. So to be clear, pens and pencils can be distracting used for playing games, bullying, embarrassing teachers, causing jealousy, dangerous, and lead to sedentary behavior. That's exactly what I'm saying. Then we need to ban all pens and pencils from our classrooms immediately. Of course, no one would ban pens and pencils, but the same arguments have been made to keep technology out of schools. What if instead of fighting against technology, we embraced it? What if we embraced social media as an instructional tool, rather than competing with it for students' attention? After all, if you want to catch fish, you have to go where the fish are. With many forms of social media available, I'm going to focus on one of the fastest growing and most popular among teens today. For the rest of this video, I'm going to discuss the easiest way to get started using Twitter in the classroom. Namely, I'm going to focus on setting up a class hashtag and using back channels to address the curriculum issue of engaging learners. I'm starting off with an assumption that you're already familiar with Twitter basics. If not, several video tutorials will show up in a quick search. Assigning a class hashtag is the easiest way for students and the teacher to share and follow class interactions using Twitter. I have used the hashtag CHSEnviro for my environmental science students at Clover High School. My students are encouraged to follow the hashtag and add it to any class relevant tweets that they make. Students are asked to use it to ask questions, make comments, and share resources both in and out of class. I use the hashtag for sending simple announcements and reminders, but my favorite way to use it is to facilitate back channel communication. A back channel provides a way for students to share thoughts, comments, and questions with classmates and the instructor during a lecture or class activity. Displaying the back channel on the board throughout a lecture or at regular intervals is a great way to leverage the power of the side conversations going on in class and keep students engaged. There are a few websites that I like to use for displaying back channels when using Twitter, but probably the easiest one to use for me is TweetChat. It's as straightforward as typing in the hashtag that you've assigned to your class and clicking go. Um, I'm going to use a popular hashtag because I don't have class going on right now. And that one is EdTech. As I click go, you'll see any recent tweets that include that hashtag. As you can see, here's the hashtag from this tweet. After this point, anyone who tweets using that hashtag, their tweet will pop up on the top of this window. A few more have popped up. I'm going to go ahead and send one in myself, and it's near instantaneous. If you'd like something a little flashier for displaying your back channel, you'll want to check out Locomoda. I'm going to start again by just typing in the hashtag that was assigned to the class. For our cases, I'm just going to use EdTech. You could type in a user if you want to follow a particular user. You can also consider whether or not you want photos being displayed as they come in on tweets, which is a good thing to consider in the classroom. A couple of other features that I like, you can type a header message. I typed in sample back channel already for us. You can put something at the bottom if you'd like as well. Once you've got it set up, you can save your changes and you can enlarge the screen. And you can see it's a much flashier display, something more appealing to students. The pop-up text boxes look real nice and they do continue to rotate through the old ones until new tweets come in. For a more comprehensive look at using Twitter in the classroom, check out my white paper. Thanks for watching and happy tweeting.